the success rate and survival after transplant depends on numerous factors age of the patient his his or her condition at the time of transplant the disease for which uh, the transplant was done whether it was infectious disease or not whether pulmonary arterial hypertension especially a significant one was present or not the age of the donor the condition of the donor lungs and the quality of preservation and the presence or absence of various antibodies in the in the recipient other than that the post operative period whether the patient is a compliant one is very compliant with immunosuppression infection prophylaxis dietary physiotherapy and other advices or sometimes the patients don't listen so there are whole lot of factors which determine the survive the post op course as well as survival of these patients when we look at the international heart and lung transplant registry data which collates data from across the world all centers and puts them into uh, figures which can be quoted by various centers we look at an operative mortality of about 5 to 10% which means about 90 to 95% patients will go out of the hospital at the end of uh, one month at about one year about 90% of them can be expected to be alive and when we look at 5 years data the figure is about 60 to 65% the main problem in these patients is uh, rejection which can happen despite immunosuppression and also the problem of infection because of fungus and other organisms because these patients are immunosuppressed and for this compliance with all the advice of the medical professionals is very important and those who do who take medicines regularly who do physiotherapy regularly dietary therapy and do not go back to things like smoking they tend to do very well so therefore we have a very regular rigid program for follow up of these patients our coordinators make home visits sometimes make regularly make home calls to ensure that the compliance is there because that is what is going to determine the long term survival of these patients